Welcome to Houston Life. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Jennifer Broom. Happy Monday. Need a little help tackling the mess around your home? Uh, sure do. Our first guest has stylish solutions that can help contain the clutter. Lifestyle expert Kristen Pulpin is joining us now. Kristen, welcome back Thanks. to the show. Kristen had a, a baby six had a baby. months ago. I know. It's crazy. And your first one. So how is mom life? It's awesome. Someone said, my husband actually said it best. He said, um, what's the best part about being a mom? It's getting to be one what's the hardest part having to be one it's just a lot of work but then you get to it you get this beautiful result that you get to see her smile and giggle and laughing oh, and she look is at little so Lily. cute it's oh. lily lily k pulpin lily Isn't is she? adorable look at her she rocking her the little baby suit there she's so cute look at she's Oh my gosh, I love her. Look how great you look in that photo, oh, too. Oh, thanks. I know. I love you, My Derek. goodness. The most stylish parents in Houston. I, I'll take it. Yeah. Okay, Wear that speaking of honor. style, let's jump into storage, and let's kind of start in that entryway. Okay, so I, I know for me, when I've lived in every type of home from an apartment to an actual house, storage is always the issue, and you hear that with cli with my clients and friends. So in the when you come into the entryway, and you're like, where are you throwing your keys or your, your glasses, sunglasses? sunglasses yeah. You're like, you don't want it to be an eyesore, so this is a solution, and it's fun. I like it's quirky. So command strips, I don't know if y'all know about these. Yes. Uh, yes. They're awesome. I don't know if you want to grab that little command strip. What you do is you take it off and you put it on your wall. Just like if you have a console table, just put it on the wall. It's very kind of um, modern looking, which that's kind of an in thing right now. And you just attach it to the wall like we did here. And then you just throw on your sunglasses. And it's actually protecting them from getting scratched. The thing that I found with these though, is that you do need to let them sit for a couple of hours so that they adhere uh, you know, yeah. to the yes. wall. Yeah. And this is, thank God, isn't so heavy unless you're rocking some like huge Gucci ones. I guess they would be a little heavier. But um, what they, a sneaky idea for an yeah. entryway or a well, it's great because it doesn't require any drilling or nailing in the wall. So especially if you're renting a place, those command strips are a lifesaver. They really are. They're great and they're easy to peel off. It really works. It's not. Did you just change like a, your mind? Oh, I want to move it over to that side. It makes. It I actually easy. have a whole uh, wall in my closet that I have them on, and I have belts. I, belts are really hard to put places. You want to yeah. throw them in a drawer, but that is a great idea for it. Look at Derek. He's Thank so you. DIY. I'll do a segment <laughs> about you belt should. hanging. I use them to hang my towels on. All right, this stuff, you know we love gold spray paint here at Houston Life. I know, me too. You That's did this for friends. me, didn't you? I did. Okay, so this is um, a knickknack. So you know when you have, like, your, like we talked about, keys and uh, scissors, and you want to have everything available, like last minute writing a note or cutting something, this is a great way to do it. I saw it in a store that was really overpriced, and I thought, let's change it up and make something with Wait, it. Wait, so is how did you coffee can? do that? That's an old coffee can. I found it in my husband's garage because it's really not mine, let's be honest. And it's <laughs> from his grandfather. I'm like, I'm sorry when I like told it, I need it. And it's a, this is a coffee can. This I got at a thrift store and it was just an old glass jar thing or what is that? Vase? So the containers you've chosen <laughs> yeah. could be any material. Anything. I mean like a pill jar. Look at this. This is a pill. That's what this is that the flowers are in. So what I did is I picked out my pieces, I arranged them, because you want to arrange it so that it fits, and then I got liquid, there you go, liquid, liquid nail. nail? Uh -huh. That's how you attached it to That's the whole tray. That's how I attached it, yeah. I attached, and this is actually a picture oh. frame. So I just spray painted the picture frame, spray painted all the pieces, adhered them. They need to adhere for like six to eight hours to make sure that it doesn't move. And then spray, do another layer of spray paint and then just accessorize it. So I did a candle holder. I th it looked really nice. And then These fresh flowers. Great gifts for Christmas great or gifts. for teachers. It's a great idea. Yeah. Another quick way to update the look of any drawer or cabinet in your home is to update the, the drawer pulls here, right? Exactly. So, or when you're coming into your entryway and you want to throw an umbrella, a hat, a scarf, a purse, a bag, whatever. Not throwing it on the floor, you want to hang it up somewhere. Oh, you're using them. I know. Not as knobs, but as hangers. Okay. So this is like really cool. You're gonna love this. I'm showing you the beauty. This is what ultimately this is your wall, whether wood or drywall. And then you can use this. So the trick is here. Some of them you can take out and just put a screw like I did right here. This one was easy. I just undid it and then took it off and put a screw and screwed it into the wall. This, however, most drawer, drawer pools, you can't do that. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna get a vice grip. Uh-oh. I know. That sounded, that sounded awesome. <laughs> and you're going to click it on here like this, and then lock it down, and then you're going to turn this. Okay, you're going to turn this. It's going to work, and it's going to come out. So the whole point <laughs> is they have to stand off the wall. That's to stand off the wall. But you need these. They're called hanger bolts. And once you take off this bolt, it Then you put the hanger bolt it. in the knob. And the, the trick here is it has a screw so that you can actually screw it into an anchor because you want to anchor it in into the wall. So you put, 
drill it, pre-drill, put the anchor in, and then you put this bad boy in, and it will got attach it. the wall. So in. you got to put an actual screw because these knobs only have the a flat, flat thing that won't exactly. go in. Exactly. What a great idea to know, use as a funky. hanger. I know. So let's I move that. over to this ladder that you have. Did you make this ladder? <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay. Actually, I bought this at World Market. It is. A lot of my finds, it's so great there. You can find quirky things, and that's my go-to place. So I love well, that's it. you can find stuff on clearance there as well, and it's super cheap. Super so. cheap, and we love that. So, so, and you're using it to store magazines and throws. Yeah, a ladder. So, I, I don't know, I get stacks of um, awesome magazines, and I don't want to throw them away. I'm kind of a hoarder in magazines. And so this is another place. I have it on my coffee table. I have it in a closet. Here, I have it on the ladder, and it's fun, and people can just grab it and read it and look. And it's kind of a decorative piece. So it's kind of funky and functional. I don't read any of my magazines. I subscribe to everything and they're like, oh, it's a disaster. Okay, oh another God, area mine. of the home that can be a disaster, dog leashes and dog toys. There may be a little bit unsightly, especially if you have company coming over. It's, I mean, sometimes they're just plain old dirty, but they're they're being used, so that's a good thing. So what you do, find awesome baskets. I'm gonna hold this yeah, up. Yeah, hold that basket. And you can find baskets at any price point, so. That, that's right, at anyone. Again, I found this at World Market, super cheap, and they have a bunch going on, but this you just throw in like this and you put a lid on it. Where's my lid? I got it. There it is. Oh, put that to covered. No one knows. It looks like a really cool basket. That's one way we love. And then watch this one. A great faux plant. Some dog food. No. <laughs> oh, that's the ultra I mean, sneaky way. Jennifer, sneaky could you feed said. my dog? The food's yeah. just sure, over in the plant. There you go. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty cool, right? That is a cool idea. Yeah. How and do you easy. come up with these ideas? That's very funny I know. and this, kind this of This is weird. called maximizing every <laughs> ounce of space. <laughs> this is called motherhood. Maybe motherhood made me, made me think of we easy and find all kinds of things. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you know those awful um, Wi-Fi connection boxes that you have? Yes. yes. And you're like, they're not, you have this beautiful styled out living room, and then you have that thing blinking in your eye. Yeah, that modem that's just With antennas wow. going off usually, too. Annoying, right? Well, guess what? This another sneaky trick. Bam. There's no book here, but you thought there was, oh, right? Wait, so you, you <laughs> yeah, constructed a book. And then you, and then how you've hot glued them together? Yeah. So what you're going to do, this is a little tricky. You're going to find books. Now, some books you might not want to tear up, but I went to the thrift store and got a 50% off coupon online to the thrift store. Yeah. yeah. So books, oh. 25 cents. I got my color coordinated books that I wanted. And you're going to um, remove the inside of the book. The is there key, a trick to doing that? Yeah, there is. Safely. You, safely is... Um, <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> and the next step is, if you can see, there's you so can kind of there's a gap. You're gonna cut with well, an exacto knife. Yes, with an exacto knife, like this. Oh, so, you're so see, easy. Like this. See? And you're gonna do the other side, and then you're going to you have a middle part. So this middle book, you're gonna take off both the sides, and then you do the right and left side, and then you hot glue it together. Whammo, so bammo. Cool. You there are a lot a, of librarians who are going to be really mad at you. You still can keep the book. You can keep the book and, and just read it without a cover. Yeah. And let me ask you, does this interfere with a Wi-Fi signal at it's all? Not. It's so not. So this is this is lightweight enough yes. that it can... It's so thin. It's, what a it's great paper idea. thin. You can use it as a little thin. privacy screen, <laughs> too. For a, <laughs> I got what she said. Uh, paper okay. thin. Yeah, get it? Paper, paper thin. Oh, I get it. Look. I get I'm it. It's a little photo day. Mustache Monday, you know, I'm distracted. It's All right, what do you have over here? So this is a file box that I got, or file basket, not box. And to repurpose it in your kitchen. Kitchen is probably the number one need for storage. I, yes. for, I Even in my new house, but I'm like... stylish storage where you just don't have junk and stuff everywhere. And it, it's funky. So kind of the farmhouse is the thing right now, right? So a basket would be perfect hanging on your wall and then throwing your fruit and vegetables. So they're not like in... Some of them I don't put in the fridge. I keep them out. They're not on the counter. They're on the wall. That's a great idea. Putting great newspaper idea. in the bottom will absorb if something goes rotten, which is you great. It and it pops it up so you can see it. Hey, um, very quickly, we have a couple more items. We only have about a minute left, so tell us what this is here. Okay, good thing I can talk fast. This is um, a wall hook that you hook to the side of, a, or hang on the side of a cabinet, and then you can put your pots and pans on it. So again, taking away from oh, your storage idea. and drawers, put it on your wall. But and this, speaking of hanging, you yeah. have something really fancy here. This is here. super funky and awesome, and it's kid-friendly. So you're going to get a pegboard, you're going to paint it with chalkboard paint, and then you're going to pick out your pots and utensils you want to use. You're going to outline them so with you chalk. know where stuff it's like goes. a dead body, but not. That's and you awesome. put it, and for kids, this is awesome. They can help you with dishes, which as a mom now, I love. It's like and a dead body, but not. Yeah. Is that what you're I love 
think she has a six month old. She's already thinking about that Lily's going to be helping. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's it's a lot of work. <laughs> so cooking and having a baby. I'm like, moms, you rock. That okay. is like Pinterest's dream come true. I know. Oh, I love that. Kristen, you have the best ideas. Thank you so much. Congrats on your people. cute little Lily, by the Thank way. You. Uh, for more DIY is, uh, ideas, you can just visit KristenJoy.com. Thanks so much. Thank you, guys. And coming up next, have you ever forgotten to turn out the lights or shut off the curling iron before leaving home? All the time. Yep. We have a simple high-tech solution when we return. But first, Houston Life reporter Steph Gary is taking Motivation Monday to an entirely new level. Steph, tell us what you're up to. You guys, I am getting a duffel buff. Now, if you don't know what that is, 